Sunny here. We are going to continue with our electron configuration and orbital diagrams. So I hope you all remember the simple easy steps in writing a correct electronic configuration for any given element. The number one first step here should be locating that given element in the periodic table and make sure at that point to note down the atomic number of that element. Once you find out atomic number then it's simply beginning from the leftmost part of the periodic table in the very first row that's beginning with hydrogen and moving from left to right from first row to second row and on and on till we reach the finally our given element. Now there is one rule we have to make sure that we are completely filling all the orbitals uh, as we go to the desired element. So here is a question we have to write down for strontium the configuration and then let's find out where is strontium and what I did was in this periodic table I marked strontium right here. So strontium comes in, if you remember, that comes in row number 5th. And then you're going to begin with row number 1, 2, 3, 4, and finally start with row 5th and stop at strontium. So let's begin. Your row number 1, period number 1 is 1. Your first journey goes from hydrogen to helium and you know those are s orbitals completely filled in so we get 1s2 then we go to second one for second level it's 2s again completely filled in so 2s2 moving on 2p is completely filled in so it will have 6 electrons row number 3 that is our s electrons that is 3s2 comes to p block that is 3p completely filled in again 3p6 then we go to 4s completely filled in again and now be careful what we have here we enter into the d block for d block we go one level lower n minus 1 so even though it is fourth period we are going to go one level below which will be 3d and our strontium is way still far away. It's in fifth row, fifth period. So we are going to make sure that D orbital is completely filled in. So 3D has 10 electrons. Then we go to the P orbital. P orbital, we again come up because that keeps the same principal quantum number. So we end up getting 4P and that's completely filled in. So it's 4P6. Now be careful. In the fifth period we begin and strontium is the second element. It's ending in S block. So we have 5S and since strontium is second, this is 1 and this is 2. So we end up having 2 electrons. So what we got is the electron configuration for strontium. Okay, moving on to orbital diagram for strontium. It is just translating what we got into an orbital diagram and I want to tell you simply if it's s orbital we are only going to have one line indicating there is one orbital if it is p you know it's going to be three orbitals so three lines then if it is going to be d we have d has phi so we should have phi lines and if it is going to be f orbital we need to make sure that we show all of those orbitals exactly correct. So let's begin writing the orbital diagram for strontium. That's your first 1s, one line, that's 2s, then comes 2p, that is three lines, then comes 3s, okay, that follows by 3p6. So we get 3p, 3 orbitals there. Moving on, it's 4s. 4s will have one line. Now we get to 3d10. That will be 1, 2, 3, 
to 5 for D and all of that is 3D and then we have 4P which is going to be 3 orbitals and then finally 1 single for 5S. That's our layout for orbital diagram for strontium. And now we have to make sure that every single orbital is completely filled in before we put anything in the last one phi s. So you are simply going to have two electrons with opposite spin in each of the orbital. Just be patient with that. And there we go. D has 10. P has 3. And finally we come to 5s. 5s has two electrons and s orbital contains maximum two so both of those will be in 5s. So what we got is the orbital diagram for strontium. Not that difficult right? Alright moving on what are the highest energy level electrons for strontium? This is what we got as electron configuration for strontium. The highest energy levels are the one which we end up with. So what we are ending up with is 4s2. So that's what it is for highest energy electrons. Next question is what are the outermost valence electron? This is extremely you have to be careful with. Outermost is the one which has the highest principal quantum number. Principal quantum number is the coefficient which we get 1, 2, 3 and all those kind of thing. In this one, this is 3p6 and this is 4s2. 4 is the highest number out of all the coefficient. So obviously in this case, 4s2 are the same electrons which are outermost. And outermost electrons are valence electrons. So how many electrons we have? We got 2 electrons. So 2 electrons are the valence electron. In a way we are telling the strontium will be trying to lose those valence electrons. And how do we come across with that? Let's look at the periodic table. That is strontium which we ended up with having a configuration in the end as 4s2. And before 4s2 of course we had 3p6. This was completely we have. 3p6 will be this krypton and when we go from krypton to strontium we get 4s2. Remember the dream. Every element has a dream and the dream is to be in royal family and to be a king or queen. So obviously strontium wants to become krypton. Strontium can become krypton only if it does not have that 4s2 and it ends up with 3p6. I mean, it will not be actually krypton, but it will look as if there is krypton there. So let's find out what we come up with. So this is what we ended up getting for strontium, 38, that's the atomic number. This is for krypton. And look at the difference. We only have the difference of this 4s2 for strontium. So strontium tries to lose those electrons and what happens? If it loses the electron, it turns into an ion and the ion which is formed when electrons are lost is called as positive ion or it's cation. So that will be SR positive 2 and now the electron number will not be 38, it will be 38 minus 2 so it will be 36 electrons for strontium ion and the electron configuration will not show 4s2 now because 4s2 is gone so it ends up just exactly similar to krypton and we call that as isoelectronic so we can say strontium turns into sr plus 2 to be isoelectronic with krypton all right Moving on to the F block elements. And I know as we move on, we add more and more rows. F block is a little tricky because we have to make sure for F block we go two levels lower. So this is for tungsten, and tungsten is right here where I showed 
this green spot. So that is in row number 6, period 6. So by this time you all know how to write electron configuration from row 1, 2, 3, 4 up till 5. So already I have everything done. It will be 5s2, then we come down to d, it will be 4d10, and of course 5 is completely filled in, so we get 5p6. Now the real question comes when we start with 6. So the first two elements 6, it's s. So obviously those are filled in because tungsten is still further, so it will be 6s2. Now when we go from s further, we don't just go to d. The d orbital is here extended. Look at that. There is extension for lanthanides. And of course, from the 7th row, it goes to actinides. So, f block elements are extension from s block of 6th and 7th row. So, after this, I am going to go from here to f block. And what happens? For f block, we go two levels below. So, that makes it... 6 minus 2 will be 4 F and all of these must be completely filled in because they actually fit in right here. So 4 F, there are 7 orbitals, so there will be 14 elements, 4 F 14. And then we go back to the D orbital and D orbital is N minus 1. So we are in the 6th row but we are going to go to 5 D. And then we have tungsten right here, the fourth element says 1, 2, 3, 4 and I end up getting 5D4 as the configuration for tungsten. Alright, can you write up for gold now? What, what will be for gold? The only difference we have for gold is, gold is in the sixth period but it's little farther. So, can you try doing it? Everything is going to be same until the period 5. The real thing begins with the row 6. And I am going to get you started with 6s2. And then you are going to fill up what comes up till you get answer for gold which is AU. Alright. I hope you get the answer and I will see you in next video. Bye bye.